Customers of all time just got to see it. That was our second strike. And let's take a look at where the hook is. Look at that, Bob. Can you see the hook? It's in his throat. I think he wanted that croaker. All right. That ain't nothing to sneeze at in the middle of a damn summer, is it? What do I, I just got done talking to people on the phone. While I'm talking to Bob, I'm getting all these calls. And I'm saying, I got proof. Nobody wants to believe me because they're too lazy to go watch the videos. You know? That's a gator. That's a gator. Mmm. I wonder where the croaker's at. I don't feel it in its stomach. Oh, it is. I think the croaker's right here. Right there. Is it? Throat. It feels like it. Well, we'll 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 see if the croaker's in them when we clean them. Okay, measurement time. Yeah, let's get that. Sorry for the weird angle, folks. Twenty-five. Twenty-five inch gator trout. Okay, Bob, hold them up. I gotta get some pictures. Oh my God, Bob. Okay, stay right there. I want to get a picture myself. Who let them cookers out? <laughs> Don't get mad. Don't get jealous. Just get on the Jetty Wolf. Whoa, that thing's powerful, isn't it? Alrighty, folks, there's some mediums, and we've got some extra small little croakies in there. That's the bait, the bait of choice for the gator hunter. All right, folks, Bob's on a big one. This is probably a bull red or something. Look at him, look at the spool. This is just like Aaron last week. That's gonna be probably a bull red. It's gonna be probably a bull red up here. Just ate a croaker. Super LT. The brand new Tiger Rods, baby. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the camera up because I might have to go get the net. go that way then. All right. What do I always say? Croakers, get yourself some. I said, who let them dogs out? <laughs> you got, see how stiff the tiger is right here, folks? Talk about, you got the flexible tip, but look what you got. You got some, you got some ass down there and backbone. That's what you gotta have because you're just not fishing for these trout. You could get any monster fish. And we got a monster on right now. He's pulling the back of the boat around, Bob. <laughs> no, he's, he's actually, the current is actually swinging us in. You're gonna get him. We just had a 26 inch, 26 pound, we just had a 26 pound redfish on these rods two days ago. Tiger isn't just for the trout. It'll be a 
big old RB, Brutus T. Red Bass. That's what it's gonna be, hopefully. There's one thing I got confidence in, folks, is this man in the white shirt right here. This dude can catch some fish now. <laughs> He's mighty quiet. Bob is so low key, but Bob can catch some fish, let me tell you. I don't worry about Bob. I worry a lot about other people, but I don't this, worry about Bob. This fish is not caught yet. Well, you're doing fine. Now that was a double the rod, completely overbite, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And headed out to the river. As uh, as Aaron said, he said, if this is a trout, <laughs> it is a 30-pound trout or something is what he said. And then I'm going to have to get out my long extension pole so we can release them. Get yourself some. This thing is the cat's meow right here. Okay, I got all the toolage out. What is it? That's what we gotta see. It's a giant bull red! It's a giant bull red fish! You need a bigger net. I know. Everybody tells me I need a bigger net, but watch this. Yes, sir! Look at that! Let's do this quick because in this hot, in this warm water, they really don't revive well. Hook right in the corner of the mouth. Two watt kale, folks. Twenty six. Twenty six. We just had one just like this the other day that had all these spots. It's the same fish, probably. Same fish. Okay, see if you can belly hold them. Is that your phone ready to go? Yep. I told I told Bob he needs to go go back smelling. So folks, where have you seen this pole before? Comes in mighty handy. Mighty handy. Yes, I cannot help getting just a tad excited when a game plan comes together. And it's coming together right now. Bull red, gator trout. I get so excited, I can't, can almost contain myself. I need Bob to hold me back. Hold me back, Bob, hold me back. <laughs> Who let them dogs out? We're on again. Bob's on, and hopefully it's a gator trout, baby. Is he near this line? I'm gonna bring this line in, because I don't want to have no chances. No chances, Bob, of losing him. Right, well, Bob's eating his sandwich. Okay, he's going over on this side. Gator. Gator! Gator, baby! Look at the hook set, folks. Look at the hook set. Look at the hook set. And look at the croaker. Oh yeah, now that is a big speckled trout. That is a big speckled trout, folks. Look at the belly on this son of a gun, and the croaker ain't even in it. Yes, sir. That is gator fishing, 101. Eight, eight pounder? I would say eight pounder all day long. Look at that fat belly. Okay, we're gonna get a measurement. We could go in, guess why? We got our two over 20 inches. Yeah. <laughs> Tail of the tape, put his bottom jaw, pinch his tail. 28. 28 and a half. 28 and a half inches long, folks. Exactly eight pounder, of course, because my last 28 incher was exactly eight pounds. And one of my how-to gator trout fishing series videos. Okay, Bob, hold them up. Let's get some 
photogs. Man, please. Okay, you don't come out here with a four pack of people to do this because somebody's gonna get bored. You, you, you bring yourself, like Bob did, and we go gator hunting, folks. This is God honest truth. I was out here with customers at the jetties and we it was kids. I had some kids on the boat with mom and dad or grandpa or whatever. And Bob called me and said, hey, I wanna go out on uh, Monday whatever today is, 28th or, I don't even know what the hell day it is. 23rd. 23rd. Bob's usually fishing the Kingfish Tournament, the Greater Jacksonville Kingfish Tournament. He got rid of his boat and said bye-bye to that stuff. Thank God, because it was, a, this tournament this last week was weather big time. People were getting their butts handed to them. But when Bob called me and said, I want to go out on the 23rd on Monday morning, I got excited. I got real excited. And now my hands are shaking seeing two trout like that and a bull red. One spot, we're sitting on one spot. We have not fished another spot out here. So let me tell you something. It happens. And when it happens, it happens big time. Now granted, I was out here with four people the other day we never really had a bite, but what was it? It was a Saturday. It was incessant wakes, boat noise, all that stuff. Four people sitting around playing Parcheesi, waiting on a bite. We finally got a 26 pound redfish, just like the one you just saw. But that's all we had as far as big, big takers. If you wanna do this, you don't go out on a Saturday. You don't go out on a Sunday. You can, and we can try it weekday, and leave that big group behind. One or two people. That's the best charter. It's called Less Is More. And that's why I got so excited when Bob called me. My heart's racing. And we have a heart attack on this here. That's what makes the world go round is gator trout. That line moved. Unless that's the croaker. That little croaker. It's right here. Is it? We have a false alarm here, folks. A little tiny croaker just completely doubled over. I think he's there, Bob. Just, just let him pull on it. There? No? Oh, man. He killed the croaker. Okay, flip him up here. Let's see him. We just had one. He just killed our croaker. There's the croaker. That is the perfect size, folks, just so you know. Now, we just had a false alarm. The fish pounded on him big time, and the line was moving through the water. But he didn't really have it. Bob's got a monster on again. That ain't no, that ain't no blue fish. We just, had a, we just had a croaker's tail bit off by a blue. So, you gotta always be prepared. Gator trout, we know what jumped and lost. we lost before. It was a ladyfish because he came back and he ate it. And we had another ladyfish that just jumped. You can tighten that up if you need to, just a couple clicks. There you go. Uh-oh, we just lost, we just lost him. That was a bull red, another bull red. We're sitting in nine foot of water, folks. Why do you have to, you don't necessarily have to sit. Yep, leader, everything's gone. I'm back to my strong arm. I didn't like that sliding egg sinker, even though I just talked about it in a video. I didn't like that. It just, when you cast it out, the croaker went flying and the sinker went sliding up your line, which was a real pain to butt. So, all right. So that was another bull red and two ladyfish bites and a bluefish that chopped the tail right off of a croaker. This is called Axioni. Lots of Axioni. Oh my god, Bob was just on again with, a, with an absolute line burner. And now we have to re-anchor. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah, I'd say somebody with teeth just ripped him asshole to elbow.
That was a bull rad right there. That was a bull rad. We're gonna have to pull up out of this spot. We're dragging them across rocks and stuff. And I'm gonna yeah, read. I don't know if he ever had the hook. No, oh, he didn't have the hook. He had the fish. He had the fish, but no hook. Double header, folks. Double header. Double header. Bob's got one on, and so do I. Oh, he's going straight for the rocks. I might not be able to stop this one. He's going straight for the rocks. Oh my God, double header. What do you got? You got a stroker of a... Bob's got a bull red on, I'm sure. I don't know what I got. This might be a jack. This is feeling real jacky. Jack Kravalish. Yeah, I got a jack on here. See all that tip flexes? But he still got backbone right here? That's why I got these. Okay, there he is, there he is. There goes the leader. Yep, good size jack. Oh man, he's barely on the hook. He's barely on the hook. Yeah! size jack that I like to play with. I don't like them little ones. Yes, sir. Whoa. All right, what do you got, Bob? Another jack? It might be another jack. It might be double jacks because they hit at the same time. He came off. He came off? Holy shit. Holy smokes. After all that, this guy's still alive. And he's still alive. Well, he ain't good for shit. That prop might have been even a bigger jack. Because yours was smoking. Yeah, let it go, I guess. Alright. What do we got here? Six, eight, six, eight pound jack. All right. Well, Bob might have had even on a bigger jack than this one. And he come on pin. Look at that. What is that sticking out of the top of his head? Pull on that kind of worm. Yeah. Pull on it. Oh my God! Look at that worm. Look at that worm he's got. Here, look. Do it close to the camera. Look at that worm coming right out of the top of his head. Oh my God, Bob. Oh my God. Keep pulling on it. Come down closer. Is that incredible? Look at that worm. That thing was buried right in the top of his head. Hold it down here so the camera can see it, Bob. See it right up against that? Ha! Get a worm. Look at that worm. Ha! All right. Ain't no worse for the wear, and he went to the worm doctor. I didn't know you were a worm doctor, Bob. No. That thing's cool. Don't Look at that. If it starts crawling inside you, you'll... Cool. It's like a thread. Ugh, get rid of that thing. Yeah. All right. That was exciting. Yeah, and then take the sinker off. All right, well, guess what, folks? We're out of bait. I just went to pin on a little, uh, whiting that we had about that big and he flipped off the hook and went in the water so now we're out of bait but boy did we have a good day two giant trout uh bull red to the boat new couple what two other bull, uh, what we thought were bull reds that we lost one broke the leader and one just crushed the bait and ripped his belly open then we just had the, the jack attack we had probably a bluefish bite. 
uh, that bit the croaker in half, and I think we had possibly two ladyfish on. So that was some serious action, and all we had was maybe a dozen baits that we caught at the jetties this morning. That's all we caught was about a dozen perfect baits and everybody else is doing what Bob they're running around looking for pogies you got pogies no ran all the way past the pier well they're probably wanting to go king fishing I gave that up years ago what do you think Bob you gotta do it again we're gonna do this again and again and again Bob has got the what is it what would you what'd you call it Tai Chi Tai Chi he's the Tai Chi of fishermen Yes. Oh, yes. You got to do the hand thing. <laughs> well, guess what we're going to do, folks? We're going to go back and make the donuts. Thanks to Captain Dave, the dogs were out today. I'd say so, brother. Beyond all the helicopter noise, I hope everybody can hear us. But they are some big, nice gators right there. So we're gonna clean them up and Bob and his wife are gonna have some serious trout meals. You going to Singleton's? Yes. <laughs> He'll be taking them to Singleton Seafood Shack around the corner from the boat ramp. Alrighty. All right. Thanks a lot, Bob. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Dave.